Hello and welcome to the Global Church Project. I'm Graham Hill. Tony Kempola is Professor Emeritus of Sociology at Eastern University and a former faculty member at the University of Pennsylvania. For 40 years, he led the Evangelical Association for the Promotion of Education, an organisation which he founded to create and support programs serving needy communities. More recently, Dr. Kempola has provided leadership for the progressive Christian movement Red Letter Christians, as well as for the Kempola Centre for Ministry, a program which provides support to those the church has called into full-time ministry. He's written more than 35 books and can be found blogging regularly at tonykempolo.org and redletterchristians.org. Tony and his wife Peggy live near Philadelphia and have two children and four grandchildren. Tony Kempolo, welcome to the Global Church Project. Yeah. The Red Letter Christian movement says we must embrace Pauline theology. Simultaneously says, and we must also embrace the radical, revolutionary lifestyle prescribed by Jesus, especially in the Sermon on the Mount. Some things must die before new life can come into being. Some things must die. And it may mean that our acculturated, compromised Christianity that we've been propagating, and in many respects trying to export to other countries, in the end, it's going to die. But a new kind of Christianity, uh, I would say new kind because it's it's as old as the, as the second chapter of Acts. Something is exploding in the world today. The church is going through its greatest explosion. This is the day of Pentecost. So when you say, what hope do I have for the Western church? My answer is simple. To get evangelized by the non-Western church. That's the church's calling to wrestle against the social institution, the educational system, the political system, the economic system. Here you are in Australia. Let's deal with the Aboriginal people. If there's going to be justice for them, there has to be change in the educational system. If there's going to be justice for them, there has to be a change, a radical change in the political system. If there's going to be justice for them, there has to be a radical change in the economic system. We must wrestle against the principles and power, the social institutions through which Satan is oppressing these people. I believe in Satan. And there is no question, if you read the book of Colossians, that the principalities and powers which God willed into existence have been taken over by demonic forces and are being used to oppress people instead of bless people, which they were intended to do. And our task as Christians, as the church, is to not retreat from the institutions, but to invade the institutions. And that's why I teach at Eastern, a Christian university. I want to train up young men and young women who will go into politics, who will go into the arts, who will go into, into uh, business, uh, who will go into education, and from within those systems to transform them, to be the soul that permeates and transforms, uh, to be the new wine and the old wineskins, to tear up the old and create the new. Jesus Christ is Lord, but he may. His kingdom is not built on coercion and power. It's going very far away on an old rugged cross. And so the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus, that this new social order called the Kingdom of God, springs loose in this world. Tony Campolo, thank you for joining us at the Global Church Project. The Global Church Project is located at www.theglobalchurchproject.com. On our website, you'll find a wide range of interviews and resources for colleges, universities and churches. I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.